hello everyone hope you are doing well so in this video i'll give you a short demo of how we can generate apis without writing a single line of code the first step here is to set up a database so we can go with other quick database setup or we can use ai this option is much easier to start setting up our database so i'll click this the database we are going to create today is for sports so I'll click on sports then inside sports the table I can give is let's say um, outdoor sports column name I can give is sport name and this sport name will be of type short text and I can click on now add now what this is doing right now is it is doing three things at the same time it is setting up our database it is generating the apis for our database and it's preparing an api documentation as well for our database so you can see how quick this action was uh, our api endpoints have been generated successfully the next thing we have to do is to generate a secret key so I'll click here to generate a secret key for my database and this secret key is a kind of token without which you will not be able to work with your APIs. So our secret key has been generated. I'll simply copy this and you can see our documentation is also ready. So everything is happening dynamically. We are we aren't preparing any documentation manually here at the bottom you can see api docs are heavy so when you open this documentation you may see a blank page so since the documentations are very heavy in the back end they require more resources so you simply have to refresh your page two or three times to see your api documentation let's click on api documentation here So as you can see, our documentation is ready. So this was our instance name that was generated for us. And you see, this is the table that we created outdoor sports. And it contained a sport name as our column. So our API is now ready. You can see there are six endpoints that has been generated for us the first endpoint here is to create a new record this is to read all the records this endpoint is with an id to read a specific record and this endpoint is to search for all the records with a specific filter and same goes here it is to update a particular record and this last one is to delete a particular record now here you can go on and test your APIs. The first step here is to authorize uh, yourself. So click on this authorize button, enter your secret key here and click authorize. Close this. Now you can start working with your API documentation testing. I'll click here, click try it out and for the sport name, let's give this as football. You click on execute. So you can see the record has been successfully created. Let's add another record, another sport here. I'll call this as hockey. I'll click execute. And the record has been successfully created now the next endpoint here is to read all our sports i'll click on try it out <coughs> and i'll simply click on execute and if i scroll down i can see all my records here so we just created two records one was for football and another one was hockey so we can see all these records here Let's minimize this and similarly, you can just simply come here 
and fetch a specific record. Let's say you want to fetch a record for ID 2. I'll click on execute here. And you can see a record for the ID 2 is coming up. Now you have to use these endpoints in your own application to actually make this work properly. This area is your kitchen area to test everything out before you actually move out to production. Now this endpoint is the newer edition where you can actually search for all the records with specific criteria. I click on try it out and here you want you will be setting up the criteria. So I can set something like the sport name should um, match that says should start with uh, edge. Okay. So I'll click on execute. So I'll be getting all the records which start with H. So I can see only one record here, right? Because we only have hockey that starts with H. If I just put here F, so we should be getting football, right? Now, if I just put some random value here, I'll click on execute. So you'll see I am not getting any record here. And right? this is an empty array. <laughs> okay. Now the next thing we have to do is let's go on and add more tables. Right. So <clears throat> let's come back to our dashboard. Click on all databases. And this is the database ports that we just created. Click on add tables. So you will see this particular view where you will be able to see all the tables that are added to your database. And here you can go on and keep on adding more columns and more tables as well. So right as you see, we have ID as a primary column. This gets auto generated. You do not create this column here. Okay. The next column I can have here is, um, let's say we can add popularity as another column it will be a kind of drop down popularity we can give values as very popular less popular unknown i'm just giving a random column here you can give any column as per your own scenarios and then I can click on add column. So popularity has been added and in the back end it will be added as enum. So enum is enum denotes a drop down values inside database. Let's go and create a new table itself. Now right now we have outdoor sports. Let's create another table for indoor sports. <clears throat> okay so now we have indoor sports you can see id is getting auto generated as a primary key in all the tables the first column we can have is again sport name here as well it will be of type short text and i can click on add column you can choose these different options as well if they fit your requirements I do not want the name to be unique because there can be multiple sports. Uh, I think it can be unique because I do not want to have different sports with same name. I click on unique and rest. I'm fine if we are not entering a sport name, right? Because I want to keep this simple for this demo. I'll click on add column. So sport name has been added and you can see a batch coming up as a unique here. The next column, same column, popularity. It will be a drop down, and I can simply copy these options. Popular and click on add column here. So this is done. Now, if we go back to our API documentation, if I refresh this. Now you will see another endpoint coming up for indoor sports. 
everything is happening dynamically we are not making any manual changes inside documentation right now indoor sports is there and it, you will see there are now two columns sport name and popularity if we go to our previous endpoint uh, outdoor sports you will see a new column getting added here as well popularity right and this is how you actually go on and create your apis without writing a single line of code we haven't done any kind of coding here and what you have done or what we have achieved here is very complex if you are going to go via coding or programming okay this involves a lot of code right in different technologies so this is what we have achieved i think in less than um, 10 minutes maybe so i hope this was helpful and now you can go on and you can go on and keep on adding more tables and more columns there is no limit there so i hope this was helpful for you so in case you have any other queries, feel free to email us and we'll be creating more videos in the future as well for you. Thank you.